everybody and welcome to day 447 of Reese's Stories. And today I'm going to be reading you another Mr. Men book called Mr. Nonsense by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Nonsense, Nonsense had no sense at all, not a scrap. I mean he lived in a tree. A tree, can you imagine? Why do you live in a tree, Mr. Happy asked him. One day, because, replied Mr. Nonsense, I tried living on the ground, but that was too high up, so I moved to a tree to be near the ground. What nonsense, snorted Mr. Happy. Thank you, replied Mr. Nonsense. And do you know what Mr. Nonsense liked to eat? Porridge. Nothing wrong with that, you might say. But porridge on toast? Really? Why do you like porridge on toast, Mr. Nosey asked him one day. Because, replied Mr. Nonsense, I tried porridge sandwiches and I didn't like them. And do you know where Mr. Nonsense sleeps every night in a rowing boat? In his bedroom, in his house, up a tree. Why do you sleep in a rowing boat, Mr. Strong asked him one day. Because, replied Mr. Nonsense, I tried sleeping in a motor boat, but it was somewhat uncomfortable. Oh. Mr. Nonsense lives, as you might very well expect, in a country called Nonsense Land. Now, I know somebody else who lives in Nonsense Land, do you? That's right, Mr. Silly. Mr. Silly and Mr. Nonsense were close friends and saw a lot of each other. Mr. Nonsense was often round at Mr. Silly's house, playing jigsaw puzzles. They used to throw the pieces at each other. How silly! And Mr. Silly was often round at Mr. Nonsense's house, playing cards. They used to tear them up to see who could get the most pieces out of one card. What nonsense! However, this story is about the time it snowed in Nonsense Land. It didn't very often snow, but one winter it did. Now, tell me what colour is snow? No, in Nonsense Land, when it snows, it doesn't snow white snow. It snows yellow snow. Don't ask me why, but it does yellow snow. And when Mr. City woke up one morning, the whole of Nonsense Land was covered i say i say he said when he looked out of his bedroom window snow and he was so excited he rushed round to mr nonsense house mr nonsense was asleep in his boat wake up cried mr city wake up and come and look out of the window whatever on earth is it grumbled mr nonsense rubbing the sleep out of his eyes as he got up and went across to his bedroom window. I say, he said, looking out, Custard, that isn't custard, you silly banana, cried Mr. City. That's snow. He rushed downstairs. Come on, he called. And that day, Mr. City and Mr. Nonsense had one of the very best days of their lives. They had a snowball fight. Mr. City's snowballs were around. Mr. Nonsense made snowballs that somehow or other came out sort of a square. They built a snowman, a very silly, nonsensical sort of a snowman. Come on, said Mr. Nonsense that afternoon. Let's go tobogganing. But we don't have a toboggan, said Mr. Silly. Oh, no, we don't, agreed Mr. Nonsense. Mr. Silly thought, oh, yes, we do, he cried. And Mr. Silly ran back to Mr. Nonsense's house and came back with his bed. Whee! They shouted together as they slid faster and faster down the hill in their rowing boat. Toboggan! It was a wonderful day, and that evening, after having supper together, Porridge pie, Mr. Nonsense suggested that they play the game. What shall we play, asked Mr. City. Drafts, suggested Mr. Nonsense. I've, Mr. Nonsense, I've forgotten how to. Drafts, said Mr. City. Oh, it's easy, replied Mr. Nonsense, and went round and opened all the doors and windows. 
There we are, he said. Drafts. What nonsense. <laughs> the end. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful, funny story by Roger Hargreaves called Mr. Nonsense. So enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. And I guess I'll see you all tomorrow for day 448 of Reese's Stories. So, bye everybody. Good luck.